today is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to give a closet tour because I think it's interesting looking at other people's closets and how they have organized and set up and so I thought I would do one. This could also be an ad for this IKEA closet system. It was here when we moved in. Our house is older. It was built in like 1976 or something like that and they just don't have the closets that modern homes do and so the people who owned the home before us put in this amazing thing and i love it it lines the whole wall of our room and it's just given us so so much storage so without further ado let's jump into the closet and kind of see what i have and how things are organized <laughs> start top to bottom um, at the top here I have just kind of random stuff so you can see like a heart dress poking out this is where I keep things that I wear during the holidays so I am a big like dress up person at school so Valentine's Day Halloween I'm wearing Christmas sweaters for like a week before and those all live up there um, other things that live up there like my painting clothes so we're going to be painting our living room soon. I'm going to have to get those down. But just generally things I don't have to access. Though I can reach it. Um, it's I just don't need the stuff up there. And it's nice that it's hidden away. In this area I have this section is flannels. So I have a few flannels. Um, I could have put those away for the winter. Because I do have, um, like I do switch out a Rubbermaid bin of winter and summer things. But Sometimes it's chilly at night, so I just wanted to keep them around. And I have all of my sweatshirts, and those are right there. And then I have my graphic tees, um, and so I don't have very many of those, they're just right there. This back area, I keep usually like one swimsuit right here so I can grab it. We just have been swimming a lot this week, so I only have one clean right there. Um, and then I have really heavy sweatpants because again, if we go camping, I need to have those a little more accessible than like my sweaters and stuff, but I don't need to have them in my pajama drawer. So they live back there. This top drawer is honestly just random stuff. Like I have a long line tank in here. I have a little pair of linen shorts. I have leggings. I have my favorite pajama set and yeah, just like really random stuff. Um, in the winter time, this is where my sweaters go. So I've just kind of overtaken it with other categories. Drawer are my jeans. This side is actually the jeans that I'm probably going to get rid of soon because I either don't like the fit or they don't fit me anymore for whatever reason. Um, so these are the ones that are kind of on their way out. They're on their test run, their final test run to see if I reach for them. And then the rest of the jeans I wear really consistently. So that's my jeans drawer. <laughs> is another one I don't really reach for a lot in the summer because it's all like skirts and soft pants. Um, so trousers, anything that has an elastic waistband is going to live in here. Um, I might read like these are the blue gingham pants from my last thrift taller, this cute little skirt. So I do open it sometimes, but mostly this is like a school year drawer. I just don't wear a lot of trousers during the summer. I like to keep casual when I'm <laughs> This next drawer is just a pajama drawer. There is nothing special about it. It's just my pajamas. This drawer is all of my workout clothing and then my school t-shirts. So that all lives right there. there. And I keep it pretty well organized. I'm not going to lie, I did kind of go through and fold everything before this video. But for the most part, I keep everything pretty organized. There is a little bit of space that I occupy and this is my husband's but I have these drawers so this is like underwear socks and um, t-shirts this drawer is not looking fabulous because I dug this current black tank out of it a few minutes ago um but I have my t-shirts there I have bras and then tights and belts in this one that is my bedroom so now we're gonna go into my office and I'll show you what I have in my office. Okay, so now we are in my office. Obviously, you can see I have my purses, um, which I don't have very many purses. I'm not a big purse person, um, but I have a couple that I own on here. I have some robes, and then I have this closet. So, like I said, I want to have a little better organization for this closet, maybe like an IKEA built-in system or something. But on the bottom here, I have all of my shoes. 
I'm also not very much of a shoe person, so I couldn't tell you if this is a lot or a little um, amount of shoes, but I, I, I almost never wear these shoes, to be honest, the ones that are in here. Um, the ones I wear on a consistent basis are down in our mudroom, so these are the shoes that I reach for. You know, I have these high boots, so like if I was going out, I would reach for them. Um, but yeah, I don't use a ton of these shoes. They're mostly like special occasion shoes. And then I just have two little hangers right here that are um, different hats. I really like these hat organizers. I'm sure there's a better way, but um, I don't know if it works, so I'm gonna keep using them. And then I have this section, which is my dresses and overalls. My formal, formal dresses, I actually keep in our coat closet. I'll have like three of those, but for the rest, I just keep them right here. Then I have jackets and blazers, which obviously I'm not wearing a ton of right now because it's so hot, but I have those. I only really pull the blazers out when I'm going to work. Jackets, I've had a bunch of conferences this summer and conference rooms tend to get really cold, so I like to have those on hand. Then I just have like blouses, random blouses. Um, and just random other things. So I have my vest I sewed, button downs, that top I sewed. Um, I have this cute little book t-shirt or blouse, I guess. I have the Victoria's Secret blouse that is still having me stumped. And yeah, I just have um, any of my like tank tops. Like, I don't know, I don't wear these all the time like special tank tops I have kind of all in one hanger in the back and same thing with like these basic blouses that I would wear to like work I kind of just keep all in one hanger in the back so um and that's it so I have that closet with kind of all the stuff that I fold and this is the most <laughs> This is my clothing rack. These are items that I'm going to be wearing in the future when school is in session. I put up my outfits for every day of the week, so that's just one more thing I don't have to think of on a Sunday. Um, I just sit down and I just do that on a Sunday afternoon. So, like, I'm going to a wedding tomorrow and I'm gonna wear this, and I'm going to a conference on Monday. So, I have my pink jeans down there and then this top. Um, so, those are the couple things I keep there, but that is my closet tour so nothing too exciting nothing too crazy i'm really strict with my one in one out rule so that is why things generally stay pretty manageable so that's it that's my little closet tour thank you so much for watching and please subscribe you can follow me on instagram and tiktok at thrift teach repeat thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye